Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 34, and this is war number seven, and we're going up against an alliance called, okay, let me try this. Bene, Kli, Sertlanlar? I have no idea if I said that right or mangled it, but let's go ahead in to the war, take a look. All right, good, they did not ban my Spider-Man 2099, that's good. Oh boy, okay, so they got uh, Magneto, they got Doom, and they got Human Torch. So I'm wondering if they're going to be uh, very mystic heavy. Let's take a preview and see what their defense looks like. All right, I take Path 3. Oh, hey, they've already gotten in. And you see those little numbers? They just added that, so... That lets me know that path one got through also with the mini, no deaths. Uh, one death on path two. I don't have anybody on the first no, but then I got to fight Kingpin. What he's got on him. All right, Hurt Locker. Okay, so they have unstoppable armor. Oh, how I hate that, but that's okay. And what do we got? Ooh, we got Man-Thing. Yep. So that explains why they don't want Human Torch. All right. Ooh. Okay. So we've got um, Immortal Abomination. Claire can do that. I'll just stay in um, Curse of Plague mode. Uh, we got Stealth Spidey. He's annoying, but shouldn't be too bad. We got Nimrod, my nemesis over there. Warlock can take him out if I don't make mistakes. And oh, look at who we have. We have Ebony Maw. So they got rid of Human Torch, but they didn't get rid of Spider-Man 2099, and he will embarrass that Ebony Maw if I don't make a mistake. All right, so... I think that's what I'll do. Hopefully, I'll be the one taking the boss, unless somebody else has Spider-Man 2099. Um, I know a few others saw how effective Spider-Man 2099 was when I was using him, so I'm not the only one that brings him. So I may not get to fight the uh, boss there. But that's... Yeah, so this team that I got right here looks like it'll work. Uh, that man thing, if absolutely necessary, I could try fighting him with uh, Spider-Man 2099. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. So it looks like, because uh, as you can see, nobody is wanting to mess with that uh, Airwalker just yet. Uh, so I will probably just do Kingpin, since there's no mini. And then... In the morning, depending on uh, what they do, uh, if they are waiting, I'll try to fight that man thing and then go on. Try to take out that Nimrod um, with Warlock if they haven't gotten to him already. And then, of course, uh, the boss if I can or whoever they need me to help with uh, any of these minis here. All right. Let's get with the fighting. All right, we're back, and I'm going in with my standard team, Warlock, Spider-Man 2099, and Black Widow Clairvoyant. All right, so I take Path 3, Sections 1 and 2. You probably already know this by now if you've been following my war videos. No Defender on that node, but now we got to deal with Kingpin, who can be tricky depending on whether he is passive or not all right so not anticipating any really bad problems with him you know you've got the node but claire can usually take care of that node but you also have unstoppable armor which i hate did i mention i hate unstoppable armor i hate unstoppable armor so what you're going to see me do here is basically i'm trying to fight him a little bit slow i try to bait out his special ones I used to love fighting Kingpin with my uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. It was just awesome, okay? I can put a taunt on him, 
and he would fire his special ones uh, very freely. If you guys remember back in the day when Kingpin was actually the AQ boss, I used to take him out with my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced all the time. I remember uh, they were like, whoa, did you just beat him with Spider-Man Stark Enhanced? I said, yeah. Was I not supposed to? They were just surprised I was able to do that at that time. Um, but it was fun. And as you saw there, he can be really, really dicey uh, because he purifies. And it seems like he purifies right when you attack and then he attacks. So it's almost like it's a manual, not a random process. But anyway, see how I wait a little bit because I want to see if he's going to purify. Then I attack. And if you'll see, sometimes he'll purify, but not fast enough for me not to get my attack in. So it's a little bit dangerous, but that's what I did. And we got him down. Mini's already down. I do get a boss fight. So definitely stay tuned for that. But middle, uh, I decided just to leave that alone. It was late and I try not to fight when I'm tired or you know about to go to bed. Uh, so I'll usually just, you know, go to bed. If anybody is up when I wake up and I have a good counter, I'll do it. Um, if they clear it fast enough, and you've seen that in some wars, then we'll go faster. All right. Unstoppable armor is not an issue here. Um, so no big deal. I'm used to fighting Colossus on here, but guess what? Claire still is a great option for this. One thing I have learned is don't mess with Immortal Abomination unless you have somebody who's poison immune. Just don't do it. So what I'm going to do here, of course, is go into her Curse of Plague. And as you see, I'm backing off. Three, four, backed off. The reason I'm only doing the four hit combos like that is because sometimes, sometimes my final hit will read as a light attack instead of uh, the medium attack it should be and it'll switch me out of my mode and against him that can be fatal so I'm trying to play it safe here and do four hit combos now he's almost dead so I should be good now to do a five hit combo or whatever boom he's done all right now if I had switched to you know, um, Curse of Hellfire, which is her damage mode, and then fired my special two at that point, that would have been fine as well. But other than that, I, I wanted to stay in Poison or Curse of Plague mode. All right, now we've got this guy. I remember when uh, Spider-Man Stealth Suit, when he first came to the contest, I really had a hard time fighting him. I didn't really know how he worked. And so I saw the spider sense and I was like, oh my goodness, he's going to evade like crazy, like the OG Spider-Man. I didn't realize that he only evades like that when he has the um, spider sense up. So he's actually easier to fight as long as he doesn't have that spider sense up, but he's only going to evade one time. So if you can, you know, get that evade out of him, you're good. All right, so at this point, I'm just baiting. Both of his specials are easy to evade uh, or block. And you see how I did right there? He got the spider sense back because he fired his special. But I went and I hit, and I immediately backed off because I knew he was going to evade. And as long as he has that up, so like right here, he's got the spider sense again. So you see how I'm just like tapping him? <laughs> I don't because I know he's going to evade. All right, so here we go. Whoop. He didn't evade there. Look, there's the evade. So I just keep tot, tap, tap, tap until he gives up that evade. Do not do full combos against him while he has that evade up. Don't do it. You won't like what happens because he will come back hard. All right, so the next mini is over. So I didn't get to fight any of the minis, but I do get to fight the boss and it's Ebony Maw. Revenge is coming. Enjoy.
my sweet revenge. That's right. All right, we're gonna be back in a minute uh, after a little brief intermission and after a little bit of gloating for revenge. Anyway, uh, we'll be back in a moment and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back and unfortunately we lost this war despite my sweet, sweet victory. But anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.